here, Michael Masson, MSP for Falk at Rest. Basically, what, what's the Parliament done recently to help out uh, domestic or households, that is, regarding renewable energy um, with regards to planning permission? Yeah, there's a number of things that the Scottish Government's done to try and help uh, to improve the whole process of people actually undertaking domestic uh, renewable programmes themselves. So if you want to put a wind turbine up in your uh, back garden or if you want to actually put solar panel cells on your roof, uh, you normally had to go for planning permission to the council for that. Uh, the government's changed that so you can now do it within uh, permitted development rights within your own property, which reduces the need for you to actually have any planning permission for it. And the reason behind that is to encourage people to actually look at going down that route and to also reduce the bureaucracy that surrounds it. So it's about trying to encourage people to go that way, but there's grants in that now available to help support you. If you want to purchase these types of things, which you can get from government, eh, plus at the same time to reduce the bureaucracy and you've been actually able to do it in the first place, and it's to try and make more people to uh, look at installing these things than they would do if there was a lot of bureaucracy surrounding it. Okay, thanks. Um, with regard to that, do you think um, you know what legislation that you've put forward? Do you think it will help David Cameron because he was he was knocked back for his planning permission for his wind turbine in his back garden? He, <laughs> he, David Cameron's problem is that he's staying in the wrong place. You know, if he wasn't living in London but he lived in Scotland, he wouldn't have the same problem, would he? So um, uh, you know, I think what we do know is in Scotland we have got much greater potential in terms of uh, uh, renewable energy uh, because of our natural environment and our weather. Uh, and uh, that's why I, I think we've got to try and make sure that we're right on the front foot in this. You know, Scotland should be international leaders in renewable energy. Uh, and that's what the Scottish Government's trying to do, but it's also trying to encourage individuals to take that responsibility forward as well. Uh, and that's why they've allowed these changes to be made in order to make it much more feasible. And I'm afraid David Cameron should just look at what the Scottish Government's doing and maybe what he should be thinking about doing is if he's successful at the next elections, maybe he should look to follow the Scottish Government in this uh, approach because uh, we're taking a much more pragmatic approach to it and I think a much more enlightened way in which to deal with these things. And, uh, the feelings of the English system have clearly actually caught him out. Okay. Well, I'm smashing Michael, thanks.